Hey, this is Zugnus, and in today's video, I'll be super quick. I'll simply share a few quick ideas on how to learn new pieces quicker, especially if they need to be learned in a relatively short period of time. This is by all means not the only way of learning new music, but some of you might find this useful. Number one, listen to recording of a piece. Now, it's always very useful to do so, especially if the music that you're learning is relatively recently written like this piano quartet by contemporary composer Judith Weir, which uh, was written back in 2000, so 22 years ago. Listening to a recording will allow you to memorize and learn the sound of the music a lot quicker. It's pretty much useful for any other type of music, whether that's Baroque, Romantic or 20th century. Okay, number two, write in finger numbers, especially for some tricky parts. Writing finger numbers in will definitely shorten the amount of time you have to spend actively memorizing the notes, as most of them will be remembered or memorized by your finger muscles, otherwise called muscle memory. This is a super useful thing to do, especially for the pieces that are more modern and have less obvious hand positions, hand patterns like scales, arpeggios, chords and so on. Number three will be analysis. You know, I did a little video recently about analyzing the music, but in here, try to do a bit of analysis um, here and there, you know, depending on the knowledge of music theory that you have, especially where things are really, really obvious. Whether that's a sequence of two, five, ones, so maybe some obvious diminished chords, dominant seventh cadences, and so on. Combine that with previously mentioned muscle memory and you're pretty much secure in terms of performing with fewer mistakes. Number four is the zoom in practice. Basically what that is, is you gotta practice those bits that feel uncomfortable to play. It is worth taking them out of context and playing over and over and over again until those little bits feel rock solid and comfortable. Most obvious examples would be some like a jump or maybe a two bar connection or maybe a strange modulation. Okay, number five will be a run through. So that is basically playing from the beginning to the end once and making a note uh, of the bar numbers that feel least comfortable and fluent to play. Then come back to those bar numbers that you noted and practice them separately until you feel comfortable with them. Never ever play from the beginning to the end multiple times hoping to fix a few tricky little bits somewhere around the middle of the piece, right? It's kind of a waste of time to do so, especially if the piece is very, very long one. Remember, you want to do a zoom in practice where you just practice the bars that you feel the least comfortable with. All right, that's it for today, guys. Hope this was useful. And as always, if you have any questions or ideas, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, please, please subscribe. It helps me enormously to keep me working if I know that you are coming back and watching my videos. Anyway, thanks for now and practice well. See you in the next video.